Hi everyone, today I am going to make a couple of videos about toy cameras. Um, they don't necessarily work and take photos, but um, for the purpose of this video, I will define toy camera as a toy <laughs> and nothing more than that. So let's begin. Um, the first one that I'm going to talk is this Philips um, keychain camera. Uh, my camera is not focusing. Okay. Um, so this one, this is not actually mine. But um, I think I still have the driver lying around somewhere. But this is um, basically a keychain digital camera. You will probably see other um, types similar, not necessarily Philips. But I think the general model number is... P44417W or something like that. I'll try to post it um, in the info box below. Um, I but I don't have a driver. Um, this one operates in one triple A battery, and it doesn't have any screen whatsoever. No LCD. Um, two point eight. It says two point eight aperture. It says I think. Um, you have the LCD screen to tell you how many photos you, you have already taken, something like that. And then there's just this fake viewfinder. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Um, I haven't really used this. Um, I think the reason why my dad didn't even use this at all is the driver is not working. But I don't know where the CD is. So, so that's that. Um, oh yeah, by the way, um, it comes with the keychain hook. Which I, I like because I, I like this kind of kitchen stuff. Anyway, the second one is um, a Japanese, I think it's a Japanese brand. It's called the Fuvi Biscuit Camera. This is also a keychain digital camera. It looks very similar to the Philips one. Except that you can actually see that um, the lens area is embossed. Well, you still have the same screen at the front and then this button right here. So it, size is also the same. So as you can see. And it also runs in AAA batteries. And then you have the USB thing on the side. Um, the viewfinder doesn't pop out. It's actually inside the camera body. And it's it's pink because it's supposed to, it's supposed to look like a strawberry biscuit or something. I don't like the keychain strap because I've owned a couple of these keychain rings before when I was younger and then they bend and they break. So I think this one's a lot more durable. However, the software for this one I think is more reliable. The only thing that I don't like about this one is that um, you have to make sure, I guess it's the same thing as with the Philips one, but this camera, you have to make sure that the batteries that you have are fresh. Um, the battery that you have in there is is fresh, otherwise um, you won't be able to recover your digital photos. Um, that happened to me once, it kind of interrupted my 365 project because one of uh, a couple of the photos disappeared for some reason. I don't know what happened, but I think it has something to do with the battery. But it doesn't save your photos when you take the battery off or if your battery dies. So you have to make sure that every time you use this, you make sure that you upload the photos right away. The photos are not, um, they're not like as sharp as your regular digital camera or any digital camera currently on the market it's just like your 1.3 megapixels so it's very noisy it's like a cell phone camera photo but I mean it's cute it's something that you would probably give your nephew or niece or whatever or if you don't want to use it as a camera you can just use it as a keychain so yeah that's that
Um, the third one is not a camera. <laughs> Not really a camera. It's a keychain camera. It's a um, an LED keychain keyring camera um, by Kickerland. There's a brand right there. Um, I did not buy this. Uh, my coworker gave it to me because um, she re re she said like she knows that I like taking photos. Um, I never bought this. I've seen it on books. I've seen these on bookstores, but I never really bought it because I like the duck. Um, keychain better but this one if you ha if you press the shutter it's like this so it will blind you <laughs> with the LED but I don't know it's just cute I haven't really used it because I don't know where to put it yet so yep that's that one so if you like like camera collectibles you could probably add this on the list because I think this is like four bucks in four to six bucks in Canada. I'm not too sure. So but yeah that's good. And then the last one I got it today and this actually inspired me to do the video is this. I don't know if you can see it properly but <laughs> how cute is that? Um my coworker again gave this to me. Um she went in this um she went to the Folklorama Pavilion one of the pavilions there actually make crafts and this is one of the things that they sell. It's uh, a recycled um, pop camera for the lack of better word to describe it. So um, the strap is actually made of the aluminum tabs and then they probably crochet it. This is I think crochet and then um, the body is made of soft drink can and then there's the old school light bulb and then when you press the shutter at the back it just pops up like that so <laughs> I just thought it was really neat so, and then you just put it inside and then you just make sure that you seal it properly and I just want to be careful about this because my co-worker said she kind of like scratch herself with <laughs> with that so but yeah so that's basically it um this is the shutter i guess and that's connected to the metal right here so that when you twist it the the lens pops open so i just thought that was cute so <laughs> um and then she said there's another camera like another pop camera there without the 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 flash so um but she said she liked the, the one with the flash better so i just thought to share it with you um in no way i'm advertising a pop brand but i mean that's what this is the aluminum can that they use so isn't that cute uh, i'm not really sure what to do with it i'm just gonna put it somewhere in my bedroom as a display so it's quite nice so yeah so that's basically it um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll talk to, i'm just gonna and yeah i'll talk to you guys soon bye